We're here today with the brand new Blade 150S Smart. And this is supposedly top of the line, as good as it gets, intermediate helicopter. Two brushless motors, one for the tail, one for the main rotor. And I'm pretty pumped because I've always told you guys I want to learn more about helicopters and, and be a better pilot. And I think that this is probably one that I can progress the most on. I just gotta get out and make myself do it. So today we're gonna fly this thing. I think the box is super cool too. I love it. Wait a second, which way is that box going? <laughs> does it go it, and so in the box and this is the beauty of this helicopter this is what makes it easy for me and fun to enjoy is you just open it and there's your helicopter you don't have to build this you just bind it to your radio and you're in the air so let's fly before i take off someone in a comment recently asked about my gloves that i use and I, i've been flying on these they're old and getting kind of dirty so for Christmas, Abby got me some new gloves and I just wanted to point this out to the person watching. They are great for flying because I can feel the control. And they have pads. And there's pads and they stay pretty warm. So it's not as warm as a full glove, but it's warmer than nothing. And so if you're interested, I'll link them in the description box. I told you I'd show you them. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm honestly nervous. I'm, I'm not a good helicopter pilot, but I'd like to be. So wish me luck. Made in flight. Made in flight and uh, just crazy nervous. <laughs> Let's spin it up a little bit. And it's windy too, so. Oh, <laughs> it sounds good, Abby. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay, <laughs> messing it's okay. up filming. I'm going I'm to land it really okay. fast. <laughs> I don't have safe turned on. So I've got to make sure I got safe set up properly, but that was not safe. Well, let's see if I can hover helicopter not in safe. I thought I bound it with safe on, but I didn't. So let's, uh, let's go intermediate. <laughs> right? I mean, I can fly a helicopter, but just on a very beginner level, in my opinion. Now this has safe, but the way I bound it apparently was with safe off. So... <clears throat> I won't be doing anything crazy today unless the wind catches it and it just explodes. <laughs> uh, but this is a maiden flight and I am flying this sucker not in safe. I don't expect this to be a, an exciting video by any means. I just wanted to get this thing in the air and I really need to push my limits with helicopters. In order to do that, a lot of people recommend flying on simulators and I probably should put some time in on a simulator, but also real 9.5 life... just came out. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Uh, real life flying is a really good way to learn too and a lot of times you're gonna Helicopters have one of the most expensive and steepest learning curves of anything you can fly and I say every second of time You have a helicopter in the air is a huge win in my in my book I applaud these helicopter pilots that just get out and make these things go nuts I don't know how they do it. It's terrifying. <laughs> it is terrifying <laughs> but it's like mind-blowingly crazy. They're like savants of RC. I mean, that's the best way to put it. You know, it takes a truly skilled person and there are not many of them that can fly helicopters on these mind-blowing, like inverted, insane demonstrations. They're, they're truly awesome to watch. And then they've got these guys that do it at night. I mean, have you guys seen these lit up helicopters that fly just i don't even know i don't know how they do it to me it's i don't i don't think a, a com, you could program a computer to fly these patterns that they fly in but guys i know this is not very exciting to watch me hover this but i am literally flying it with safe off this entire time so this is a huge deal for me to progress my skills to do something like this now you rotate your helicopter sideways and all the controls then become very different so once you start you know getting off level and just I've got this perfect looking hover right as soon as you start veering off and it doesn't look perfect it takes a lot of uh, skill to know to to like not overcompensate and just a little bit of touch to get it back to level again so this is you know Nate Sailor flying a helicopter not in safe which I'd say 90% or more of my flight time of helicopters are definitely in an auto level mode so <clears throat> I need I've this. seen you do a I know. flip before. You know what? <laughs> oh, those are my younger, dumber, braver days when I, <laughs> I had a $110 helicopter 
that was capable of doing flips and I think if I crashed it I just didn't care. <laughs> I certainly don't want to crash this. This is a maiden and I don't know. I feel like I've like taken a step back in helicopters. You know how you uh, I crashed get it. your airplane oh, and yeah. kind of like got afraid of flying again? <laughs> I get it. I've crashed a couple of uh -oh. these more advanced helicopters uh, from like Banggood that are supposed to be about this skill level and it has scared me from wanting to progress anymore so I think I need to get some flight time in on the simulator like if you're interested in the simulator we'll have it linked in the description box below but I'm I'm honestly really proud of myself right now for just flying this like this not in safe mode <clears throat> kind of a big deal kind of a big deal and and notice that the more I hover it here I'm kind of wagging that tail a little bit left and a little bit right. These are the things that you're supposed to do when you want to progress, when you want to fly a drone that you've never flown before. Don't take it 500 feet high, or 200 feet high <laughs> on your first Definitely flight. Definitely don't take it 500 Well, feet. 400 feet's the limit, right? <laughs> right. You don't want to just like go insane on your first flight. You really need to do about what I'm doing, which is just getting a feel for the vehicle. So in this case, I'm just hovering it here and getting a feel for how it reacts to my very minimal inputs on my sticks. Now, and then, then, you know, getting crazy is doing this for me. Let's go that way and then back. Now that seems really stupid, right? To those of full you that circle. are Come on, sitting Nate. on the couch at home. Come and, on, Nate, full hey, circle. A full circle can be, can be the difference between a successful <laughs> flight and a crash. And so for today, all right, Abby. <laughs> Talk him into it. So I don't even have safe on a switch, but I'll do it. Here Just we go. Just a circle. Mm. Okay. All right. There we did it. There we did it. You really have gotten scared of flying yeah. these. Oh well, my gosh. Scared and then like aware or of. Or maybe you not know, scared, just intimidated. Yeah, a little intimidated to be honest. But but also I'm flying it. You're flying it. So you know You're where does good. that fall on the level of of actually being scared. Now that timer you heard does five minute timer. Mm -hmm. So super cold. My fingers are feeling like Does this ice. have AS3X? Yeah, and it's you definitely You can see the tail me. wagging. It, it's fighting the wind with me right now, mm -hmm. but it doesn't, I don't have safe assigned to a switch and that's kind of got me scared. And that wind has picked up like crazy. So let's wait for that wind to die down. Look at that, it's kicking me around. I'm, I'm tipping sideways just go. to fight the wind. And now a good opportunity to land. Let's put it down. Nice and landing. I'm gonna call that a successful maiden flight. It's getting a feel for the controls on a very intimidating vehicle. So guys, I had that on a little new 450 milliamp 3S LiPo smart battery. That's a Gen 2 smart battery. And these are new batteries. This is a new size of battery that just came out. So I currently only have one battery. I intend to get maybe two more. And then that way I can come out here and, and fly at least three packs so I'm not driving all the way out, you know, I've, or maybe I'll bring this with an airplane and fly my plane and then fly this. I really need to just start packing this with me all the time. I've got my radio with me. The box takes up no room at all. So I should throw this in the car and every time I'm up here, put a pack through it and maybe get better because I'd like to be able to show you helicopters with at least half as much confidence as I show you airplanes. You know why I'm good at flying airplanes? Because I fly them all the time. I, I can take any new airplane, and yeah, I get my pre-flight jitters on a maiden flight because you never really know, do I have it trimmed up properly? Are all the control surfaces, you know, solid? Is this going to be a good maiden? But after you get that maiden under your belt, I'm just like, let's go! And I just fly how I want to fly. I'm not saying I put on the best show, but I fly how I want to fly. And I wish I could do that with helicopters for you guys. I am so happy to admit that I'm a beginner with helicopters. And the reason I'm happy to admit that is because it gives me something to look forward to. If I can progress on helicopters the way I have on airplanes, then I have got five years of fun progression to be had. And maybe this will be the helicopter to do that for me. But for a maiden flight and I didn't get safe, I, I'm so, I'm such a beginner at helicopters. When I had this bound at home, I assumed I had safe just by default. And, and you can bind an airplane by default with safe on permanently or safe off permanently and not have it assigned to a switch. So that's what happened with today. I bound it without safe and also not assigned to a switch. So I have things to learn with helicopters and this is something that can help me learn and progress and I'm very happy about that. But if you're not even to the set 
the skill set where I am with helicopters, which is still very small, they make more beginner friendly helicopters and ready to fly helicopters. So if you don't want to have to worry about binding it or anything, they make them that comes with a radio. But a lot of guys in this hobby, you don't want 20 radios, you want one good radio and then you can have 20 cool planes and helicopters bound to the one radio and that's why they have this set up as a bind and fly. It bound super easy, I just gotta get safe assigned to a switch and that's gonna help me a lot. So if I'm trying to learn flips and rolls and things, I can throw that switch and just, it should catch itself in auto level and I don't know guys, if there's enough interest and you want me to learn to fly helicopters more and more and more. Our well, heli videos always get quite a few views. They, I know, they do. There's there's helicopter people out there and there's not a lot of helicopter YouTubers out there. So I'd love to be able to bring that content to you guys. But yeah, I mean, here you go, we are. This is just, unfortunately, my skill level is super down here and I wish it was up here, you know? I really just wish I was better. But I wouldn't think about flying something like this without AMA, the Academy of Auto Aeronautics, you guys. I always have AMA in my pocket, which is insurance. This thing could get out of hand pretty quickly, especially without safe assigned to a switch. I've flown enough helicopters that I felt like I could keep it hovering and I didn't want to even do a full rotation just to risk it possibly flying away and smacking into someone's car or something. But if it did, I've got the Academy of Model Aeronautics in my pocket, which is an insurance program for the RC enthusiast. And if you want to learn more and pick up the AMA, I highly encourage you to do so. We'll have them linked in the description box below. For a beautiful day, even though it's 20 degrees out here right now, I thank God just for this awesome day. It is absolutely beautiful and I get to bring my helicopter back home in one piece today. So thank you to the big guy upstairs. A massive thanks to our Patreon supporters too, guys, because I couldn't do our channel without your support. It means the world to us. You really are like family to us. We thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Abby, we just dropped off Patreon stickers in the mail. So if you guys are owed some stickers, we're, we're all caught up, but some of you are owed stickers and they are on their way. Hopefully you're getting them actually probably really close to the time you're seeing this video. Yep. We don't have a lot of helicopter videos, but we do have some. We'll have another awesome, fun RC helicopter video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.